Good day viewers and my wonderful nursing students out there. I am all out again today to discuss with you the flow of blood round the heart. You can be asked in a viral exam and you are expected to practically point to each point on how the blood flows. And that is what I want to show you today so that in that your next practical exam, you can win your examiner when it re as regards to viral examination as you've been earlier told that uh, hearts this is the anatomical model of the heart and you are expected to position it this way to your examiner it is a roughly cone-shaped holomuscular organ and in length it is about 10 centimeters and it is it weighs like the owner's fists you know in real time so Come with me as I show you the flow of blood through the... There are two main great veins in the body, which is the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. The two, the inferior vena cava gets all the blood in the lower extremities and the uh, superior vena cava, cava gets all the uh, blood from the upper part of the body and empty its constants into the right atrium. I want to believe you can see now the right atrium. Okay, from there the blood passes through the right atrial ventricular valve. This is the right atrial ventricular valve. It opens up. By the time it opens up, it releases its content into the right ventricle. Okay, here is also the right ventricle this is the right atrium okay but this is showing the right atrial ventricular valve so by the time blood gets here you know the blood pumps blood you know the atrium contract at the same time to push blood to the damp part of the heart okay at the same time the right and left uh, ventricles also pump blood as they pump blood the blood inside the right ventricles pushes its content, can you see, this way, to the pulmonary trunk, okay? The pulmonary trunk leads to the two right and left pulmonary uh, artery. And that's the only artery that carries deoxygenated blood. That is why it is painted blue. It's painted blue is an artery. But it's painted blue because the content, the blood found there is actually deoxygenated blood. And you can see there is a pulmonary valve here made up of three semilunar cups. And the semilunar cups are there to disallow flow back of blood into the right ventricle. Okay, so the blood passes through the pulmonary artery, which later... Uh, splits into the left and the right pulmonary artery which goes to the two lungs to get oxygen on coming back they will come back through the right and left pulmonary veins this is the right pulmonary vein the two you can see the two here the two pulmonary veins and it is the only vein pulmonary vein that carries oxygenated blood that is why it is painted red that's why it's painted red okay this is the left the two left pulmonary veins okay from there the blood from the lungs enter into the left atrium can you see at the upper part there yeah, this is the left atrium from the left atrium it passes through the left atrial ventricular valve which allows the blood to come to the left ventricle from the left ventricle the blood contracts and releases its content it pushes its content into the aorta and you can see the aortic valve already here here is the aortic valve which also have the three semilunar cups so from there it gets to the aorta you can see the great vessel aorta here so the blood is full of oxygenated blood and then from there to the general circulation thank you and I will also okay I need to also emphasize here that the upper part of the heart which is the 
right and the left atrium. They contract at the same time to push its contents, that is the blood, into the ventricles. The same way the ventricles contract at the same time, you know, to push blood either into the pulmonary arteries, pulmonary arteries, you know, to get into the lungs or into the heater to pump oxygenated blood around the body. Thank you. This is where I'm going to be stopping today. I hope to see you next time. Remember to subscribe to our channel to get more educative content. Bye-bye.